Welcome back guys! Today we're going to take a look at what I got recently and that is those here. 12 volt lithium batteries. And in fact actually batteries from Valence. Down below I will be linking in the data sheet to those batteries so you get an understanding what it's about. Inside here you have roughly 400 cells and the battery itself should be around 130 amp hours. If you get hold of this like I have and you don't have the opportunity to use their BMS you might want to get the batteries out and use it manually. So today's video will be about getting the stuff from the inside out, attaching a balance plug and making them into a pack that you could use for something else. To open the pack you would need a couple of tools. And I have a 5mm Allen screw, 10mm hex, a big screwdriver is also usable and a mallet that is soft because yeah you will see later on you would also need some sort of heat gun because to get this out we need to heat up the glue inside first of all you need to remove this harness that is around it as you can see here you have those on this side so I do recommend to cut this side instead and I will show you later on why I cut this side with those there Now we get it out like that. Now you take your big screwdriver and the mallet and on the side here you have notches. So just go over there, tap a couple of times, every corner, and you will see that the top cover will come off. And that's it. Now it's time for step two. And down here you see that I have this rig set up. And this is pretty very really simple. If we take the battery now. The reason why I have this rig is because I want to turn this upside down and hang it on here. So let's do that. If you've done this correctly now, you will have handles like this. So this is a really good way to hang it up on. So let's raise this up a little bit. Of course, you can hold this by your hand while doing this, that's totally fine as well. But I feel that it's a little bit easier to have it on a stand. Now it's time to take the rubber mallet and the heat gun. What's important here is that you should heat this back side or the bottom side up to a point where you hardly can't touch it. Not too hot. And then it's just a matter of And you hear when it starts to come loose. Like now. Now it's loose. Now it's just a matter of tapping until the battery falls out on my finger. And there you have it. The battery is out of the box. So let's put it up on the bench. And here you have the slave unit for this system. This is a slave unit that needs to be hooked up to a BMS master. But for our purpose we need to remove everything here to get inside it. First we start with the big screwdriver again. Gently remove with those. And if you want to reuse this package I suggest you save everything. Like that. And then you can remove the BMS as well. That one is also glued in place. So just very very gently pry it away like that you'll see the glue inside now it's time to take the 5mm allen and the 10mm wrench and undo the bolts here 
and they are locked tight in place so you have to use some considerable force I do not suggest to use uh, some kind of tool here because it's so easy to destroy the tabs from the battery itself Now we carefully put this up like this. If you loosen that side, the top almost come loose. Now it's time to remove the sides as well. Same here, save them if you're going to use this later on. They are very gluey. And there is two on the other side as well, of course. And then you remove this tape. Also save those plastic parts if you're going to use this remounted differently. Inside here, you'll see the black ones are the temperature sensors. Those are just a matter of pulling out. There are six of them. Then I take your plier and I snip this off. And I want to have all the cables in the middle. So I snip them off as long as possible. So, something around there, do not make them touch it, each other. And there you go. Oh. Now it's time to add a balance plug. And I have those 4S balance plugs here that I bought since earlier for the RC. You'll find links below to them. And it always starts from, if you have the pigs down, it starts from the right. So the red in this case should be the negative, and then the first cell, second cell, third cell, and fourth cell. So basically in this scenario we have the first here, the negative, or the ground, and that's the first cell. We have the second cell, you have the third cell, and you have the fourth cell. So. Now we need to make sure that we have some shrink wrap around it. Let's cut five of those out. I'm also going to utilize one bigger one. This one I put on here. Tie all these on here. One to each. We take the black one to the white one. And now we have the yellow one that goes to the brown one. No, they are not following the, the codes, the color codes here. And before you get everything together, you take your favorite me metering tool. And I have this one here. See if I can turn this around. Change to life, and we see 83 percent. We measure first cell, second cell, third cell, and fourth cell. And that's pretty damn good. Now we can see that we have eight millivolts at most difference, and that's pretty good as well. So. Let's turn the heat shrink back on everyone. The 
Take the green one, and go back with that one. And that's it guys! You now have a very tidy little design or battery bank that you can be using. It's four cells in a row, 100 pieces per E, so it is a 4S 100P. Negative there, positive there, and you're ready to use it. So hopefully you like this video, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you all for watching, and see you next time. Thank you guys for watching another one of my exciting episodes. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Meanwhile, also check out my other exciting videos. And if you want to support my work, you can find links to both Patreon and PayPal below. By becoming a Patreon supporter, you help me a lot, and you also gain access to some extra material.